is Melissa. Happy Tuesday. I hope you are all having a great week. Today we are going to do something we haven't done in a little while, an unboxing. I'm super excited about this. I know what's inside, but I haven't opened it yet. See, it's all sealed up. Uh, so we are going to check this out for the first time together. So this was sent from StarCraft. You guys probably know StarCraft from heat presses. They have uh, the printable heat transfer material that I love, but they also have a whole line of other products as well, including a brand new uh, cup turner for tumblers and cups, and also this like alternative to a epoxy. I'm saying that correctly. Okay, yeah, epoxy. So it's called Pure Coat. So I'm excited to check this out. We're not gonna actually use them today, but we're gonna see what they're all about and what comes with it and all of that stuff. So I threw the links to both the cup, um, I don't know if it's a cup turner or a tumbler turner, so we'll see together. Um, and then the epoxy uh, alternative, which is called Pure Coat, comes as glossy or matte finish, and that is also in here. So I threw the link up to that as well. So let's see what we have. Yay, I'm so excited. Hello. All right, so we have a 16 ounce clear gloss pure coat. Okay, so that's this. It comes, actually, this is super nice. It comes definitely really well sealed. And then it also has this like little top that you can put on that will, I'll take that off there. So let's see, it says it's ideal for use on smooth surfaces, can be used on glass, metal, wood, what makes it so awesome? It's non-toxic, UV protective, scratch resistant, eco-friendly, non-yellowing, clear, hard finish. So, and also this is a, let's see, it says it's a water-based clear coat that comes in glossy satin and matte. And also, so if you guys have done tumblers before, like those glitter tumblers, you have to pour the A and B parts of epoxy together. This is one, um, just one. Uh, solution. You don't have to do the mixing or anything like that. And this one, it says is non-toxic, which, um, so let's see, it says it's clear, hard finish, self-leveling, scratch resistant, dry time, dries one to two hours. That's much faster than epoxy. If you know, you have to leave it for like six to eight hours. Can be recoded after three to four. Clean the surface with a degreasing agent to remove any buildup easy to use. Simply apply with a paintbrush or spray on. Well, this is not going to be able to be sprayed on as it is. No measuring or mixing needed. This product can easily be cleaned up with soap and water. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll have to try. I'll have to do a test of this or a review of this whole thing, but this is 16 ounce. They also have a gallon. So if you decide that you like this, I like that they have the 16 and you can try it out. Um, that would be awesome. So I did throw the link I forget if the link that I went, that I sent you was to the clear or the matte or the satin, but I did link to that. Okay, and then what else? We have the cup turner. So this is, okay. Okay, the da, 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 da. two way, our cup turner offers great features such as two way rotation, comes with three size cup foams, inserts, we'll open it and see, as well as two rods. Pure Coat is an excellent alternative to epoxy. There's no mixing or measuring, which we talked about. A thin coat of multi-layers is all that's needed. Now, it says a thin coat of multiple layers. So we'll have to see how many multiple layers, just so you just so you know, when I read the description of the product on um, the website, <laughs> it said up to 15 layers. So uh, that's a lot. So <laughs> Hopefully, that was for if you had glitter. So we'll have to see. I, I mean, 15 layer, that's gonna be too much, I think, for most people. Okay, so here we have the cup turner. Let's check this out. Um, five to six rotations per minute. Two-way rotation makes it easy for left or right-handed crafters. Okay, let's see all of this stuff. If you are just joining, we are doing an unboxing of a couple of StarCraft items. Um, you guys are probably familiar with the StarCraft heat press, the um, StarCraft, one of their main, like their flagship product initially was the printable heat transfer, which I really like. Okay, and then now they're expanding their line. So we'll have to see what all this is. I really have, don't know, I, I don't know. Okay, and then, okay, so these must be, 
These are the different for different size cups. So this looks like for tumbler, for smaller cups. We'll have to see what all of this is. And then this is, so there's three different sizes that they, can you see what I'm doing here? Okay, and then this must open. Let's see. I can see if I can set this up real quick. Okay, insert. So we've got to take this, a rod stand. To use the rod stand, that's this. Fold out the tripod legs, insert the rod turner inside the rod stand, like this, okay. That will create a sturdy base and make it easy to add or detach rods from the turner. This is a fast and efficient way to start working on your project. Okay, so then I think this goes like that, I guess. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. The flat end of the locks into, okay, so like this. I think you could also use this, like if you are have to spray paint, you know, your um, cups or something, you could put them on here and you could probably spray like that. You know how like you, otherwise you're like trying to hold it. So that's that. And then this would just turn. I don't see any type of control. Oh, it just has, well, let's turn this on. Let's just plug it in and turn it on and see. I don't see any type of control. The foam inserts slide into the cup. The wider, insert the rod at the top of the bottom, whichever holds your cup more firmly in place. Choose the best size. Slide the foam into the wider end of the plastic rod. Insert the rod at the top of the bottom, whichever holds it first. Align the flat end. Okay, it says to switch the cup turning direction from clockwise to counterclockwise, operate the two-way rotation switch located on the power cord. Okay, so that's this. So it has, you can go one way or the other. Let's just see. Obviously I don't have a cup, but we'll see how this works. Oh, okay, there we go. Can you see it spinning? So this is counterclockwise and that's clockwise. Okay, so yes, you just, and then if you put it in the middle, it goes off. So anyway, obviously I have not had a chance to use this because I just pulled it out of the box um, but I am definitely going to give it a try. I've done uh, blog posts and tutorials on how to make those glitter um, tumblers, which I know are very popular, and as well as, you know, with the epoxy method, which obviously you have to take the two types and uh, mix those together. So I'm excited to see how this works instead, if it speeds up the process, if it makes that process. I, I don't like epoxy for the same reason I don't like painting. It's a mess and I don't like to clean up. I just like my crafts to be fast. I have no patience for waiting for stuff to dry or rotate for six hours. I'm just like not that type of crafter. I'm like, all right, let's go. I need instant gratification here. Um, but we are going to try this and I will do either another video or put it on the blog or probably both. And we'll see what happens. All right. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. See ya.